Yeah, I think fandom has changed, and, and part of that change, and the reason for that change, has been the internet. Well, uh, Doctor Who Online itself started uh, 10 years ago, when I was the ripe old age of 16. We've been adding more things to the site, uh, like you know, release guide, and yeah. um, links, and a forum, a very popular forum actually, which, Absolutely. which is actually pretty much the lifeblood of the site at the moment now. Yeah, and what, what we're trying to do is, is not just sit static and just be a static website, we're now moving into a, into a new world of sort of interactivity and, and media um, by offering a, a podcast. Um, I think we've got somewhere in the vicinity of 10,000, over 10,000 yeah. listeners a week now. Well, I mean, for us, that's what it is. It's about expanding the, the Doctor Who universe and, mm. and bringing people together and bringing those people who, who are fans and who may not necessarily have the chance to to meet other fans, you know, and we have people from all around the world. Yeah. Okay, online fandom, well, it's definitely, um, people are able to bridge together from different parts of the world and be more obsessed. And I think, well, I do think there's a lot of over-analyzing online. You start getting into way too much about the episodes, but, um, I don't know if it's changed it too much, it just branches it out. A whole bunch of people from all over the world can actually get together online and they can talk to each other at different times and different locations. 